So, should TSW5 even exist? Well, if you've been following me for a while and often tune into my streams, you'll know my personal and subjective answer to that question is a hard no. Or is it? See, I've always been of the mind that the Train Sim World that we know today is just another version or update to Train Sim World 2, which is <clears throat> arguably the best of the series, but that's another topic for another day. So technically in my mind, we're only on TSW 2.4. And the reason I've had that particular opinion is simply down to the fact that from TSW2 all the way up until TSW5, the only thing that's really changed is the number after the title. Since the Unreal Engine 4.26 update back in 2021, all the fancy features that have come into the game we know today or that we've been promised could have all been added into TSW2. Whether it be TODV4, suspension improvements, the editor, route hopping, live map, the list goes on and well you get the gist anyway a complaint that was made over and over every time a new iteration was brought in was that we as the players were always stuck behind a paywall if we wanted new routes that came out for later iterations of the game or in the worst case scenarios if we just wanted the bugs patched up and fixed however during their dovetail direct video dovetail shocked the entire player base by announcing that it would be possible to upgrade the TSW5 completely free of charge, whether you've owned a previous Trainsim mod iteration or not. Now, of course, a caveat with that free version is that you only get the training center, which is barely a route in itself, to be honest, but at least you get the chance to drive and experience various different trains and open yourself up to the prospect of indulging in some DLC. Now, as I said, the free version of the game was something that shocked everybody and even I myself promised to never touch a TSW again after number 4 if they ever announced another paid upgrade. And I was forced to swallow my words and it's something I'm not mad about in the slightest. I think it was wise for Dovetail to finally shake off some of their notorious stubbornness and give us what we've been asking for for so many years. So literally based only on the facts that the upgrade is free, albeit for a short while, which I'm a little conflicted about, I do actually think TSW5 should exist and I'm happy that it does. We've been given several new features for this new iteration and I'll touch on a couple of the standout ones. Starting off with one that excited many people, Conductor Mode. It's a feature that we've seen teased in a couple of scenarios previously but is brought in this time around as an actual game mode and though I can't personally say I have a massive interest in it myself, please don't be mad at me, I'm glad it's finally in for those of you who have been asking for it. We also now have fast travel, the ability to practically teleport to any other stage along the routes that you're currently in. Now being on PC since the beginning of my Train Sim World journey and having access to the God Mode mod by Fubian over on the Train Sim community website, this actually isn't anything new, but it's great for console players and those on PC who aren't comfortable with modding to have this implemented officially. Third on my list is route hopping. Now, we've been asking Dovetail for literally years now for the merging of routes to be a thing. We've been told that at least for the time being, it's something that's just not possible and I appreciate the developers for finding a middle ground with route hopping. It's not exactly as smooth as a route merge would be, but it's definitely quicker than going back to the main menu and switching routes from there. How often this will be used? Honestly, incredibly rarely by myself, and generally speaking, I think this is a feature that has a shine that will wear off rather quickly, but ultimately, only time will tell. It would be nice to see it developed a little bit further though. And the last one that I'll touch on is the live map. I think this was a great addition. I have no complaints about a more detailed map where we have access to pretty much every bit of detail we could ask for on it. My next point is the core routes. 
Personally, I'm actually having a lot of fun with them. My personal favourite being the Frankfurt to Folder route. There's no denying that especially with all the layers active, it's a fantastic route and I'm actually impressed with the performance at Frankfurt Hauptbahnhof, considering how busy that station is seemingly all hours of the day. The West Coast Main Line is another route out of the three that I've spent a considerable amount of time on and I just can't seem to get tired of the Class 350 and 390 Pendolino combo. Like Frankfurt to Folder, it's a route full of life with the 710 layered in and 1972 stock, Class 377 and the Class 66 all also making an appearance. The San Bernardino line got a lot of stick and I think many were rightly disappointed with the fact that we were getting a station we already had in the previous core route and no new locos. I personally didn't have too much issue with that. I thought at the end of the day it's a new route, we're getting an updated MP36, a new livery and it's just the one station that we're seeing again. I've run through all the scenarios on that route and I've honestly enjoyed those runs and I look forward to tackling the journey mode there. I don't know if this necessarily deserves its own topic per se, but I did want to note that as of recording this video, the full release has happened a few days ago now and we've already gotten two decently big updates with an even bigger one still a work in progress. Dovetail have taken their sweet time in the past, bringing in patches and fixes to bugs, so it's nice to see this new release being shown some urgent care and attention. I just hope that this will be a consistent thing throughout Trainsim Mod 5's life cycle. And to round off this video, I'll conclude by just saying that my experience so far with over 40 hours of gameplay has already been really, really enjoyable. It has been a while since I've enjoyed a train sim world as much as I'm enjoying this one. And even though I've been streaming it for five to six hours a day at the moment, for a few days now consistently, I'm not feeling burnt out or sick of it in the slightest. And that's it from my side really. What are your thoughts on it so far though? Let me know down below in the comments. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and consider being a subscriber. And until next time, have a lovely rest of your day. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves, stay safe, health is wealth, and I'll see you again soon. Take care and peace out.